Hello, all is your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom is within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply to the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started with today's quick mini reading. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. So let's get started, guys. Let's see what's going on with Elon. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon card here, okay? So, um, the moon talks about secret things, hidden things, and what's done in the dark here, okay? Um... However, this moon, you see how this person, this person, this is a very dark card here, okay? This person is like underground here. It's very dark. This looks like some type of underground tunnel or something like that. But um, you know those little manholes that be in the street? It's like cracked. It's open right here. So the moon is shining through and illuminating um, what's being hidden, okay? Um... I do feel like there's something that's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind someone's back in secret here, okay? The moon can talk about anything from shady people to dirty dealings to illusions to a fear to secrets to hiding, um, one feeling overwhelmed. It can speak to a, the unconscious, um, dilemmas. Um, it can speak to a lot of different things, but the fact of the matter is that there's something hidden. There's something secret, okay? Um but something done in the dark is coming to the light in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. So let's see what else is going on for you all. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords here, okay? Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Feminine. We have the Magician. This Queen of Swords is doing some type of spell work. Okay. They're doing some type of spell work in, in, in secret here. Okay. In hiding. Okay. Witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, santerias, or any other dark demonic forms of... Uh, dark arts or black magic or whatever. Okay. This person is trying to manifest something by manipulating something as well okay and they're doing so by way of spell work yeah we got the devil here this is definitely spell work that this person is doing this is heavy spell work here okay um this person could be a kitchen which this could be some kitchen magic or whatever but they're they they have a very strong demonic attachment here okay they're chained to the devil here this person has sold a soul um they are sell out, okay? Um, the devil speaks to um, toxicity, bad habits, addictions, or addictive patterns of behavior. I feel like this queen of swords is addicted to doing spell work on people. Um, and this person is doing it time and time again, over and over and over again, very repetitive with um, the spell work that they're doing on someone. This person could even be doing death spells. On someone here with the magician coupled with the devil here yeah this queen of swords is doing this in an effort to gain some type of money so the spell work that they're doing on someone on a situation is because they're trying to get this ace of Pentacles here okay they're trying to um, 
take this, steal this, keep this, um, this financial resources, money, stability, security, and they're so they're doing spell work here. Yeah, it's all about money. Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, this person wants to gain something. The Nine of Pentacles talks about gaining something. Okay, um, and this person is is trying to do this by any means necessary. So they're vigorously behind the scenes. Um, doing spell work doing magic to to manipulate something to go in their favor yeah bottom of the deck we have uh the five of wands here so this talks about jealousy envy hatred spitefulness uh strife um revenge even okay this is the energy that this queen of swords is in aquarius libra gemini feminine here okay this person is um could be jealous or intimidated or envious of someone the five of wands can also speak to conflict as well as competition with with someone here this is the reason why this person is doing spell work over a situation over someone that they're trying to take something from here yeah we have the four of cups here this person is crying over spilled milk they have three cups but they want a fourth cup here they're crying over spilled milk this person wants uh to live wants luxury um luxury or to live beyond their means in some type of way shape form or fashion and um they want to get it by any means necessary which is why they're doing magic here okay this person could be working with a fire sign sagittarius aries or leo that's chained to the devil as well this person could be a feminine or a masculine okay but it is a um fire sign individual we have the three of swords here okay this talks about heartache or heartbreak this person is really upset really disappointed over this large amount of money here okay yeah and they want to change this they want to change this situation over this nine of pentacles here we have the eight of cups which talks about a shift or something changing okay this person is doing spell work in an effort to change something to go in their favor with this large amount of abundance this person wants wealth this person wants luxuries okay and they're jealous and envious and in, in competition with obviously whoever with someone else they want to prevent or block someone else from getting it and so then with their demonic attachments this is the reason why they are so repetitive with this spell or this 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 person is doing spell work possibly every day multiple times a day on someone over this situation and everything they're using magic to manifest what they want but this is a black witch okay this person is doing like curses and spells and hexes and root work and death spells and you know um all kinds of things here very bad things this is not like um this is not like uh, uh, someone, you know, doing little simple things to um, um, for them to have good luck or for them to um, manifest money on their own by say like, you know, like a person would who is, is seeking a, a good job with benefits for them to make a money or the way a person would who, you know what I'm saying, who... Um, wants to be able to budget or save or you know different things manifest and those things this is somebody doing wickedness doing evil so that they can take something from someone else okay because if this was if this queen of swords if, if this money was the rightful owner of this queen of swords there would be no need for them to do spell work in order for them to get it you understand what i'm saying so that's what's going on here, okay? We've got the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? So individuals juggling, possibly struggling finances, money, and resources. We have the justice here at the bottom of the deck. This lets me know that there could be some type of legal decision that is being made, some type of a court matter, 
okay? This person is also doing spell work, possibly over the judge, over the court, over the case, okay? This person could be doing spell work to stall or stagnate the case. Um, this person could be doing spell work over the judge to sway the judge's decisions. This person could also be doing uh, spell work to blind people, um, researching the case or investigating the case to, from seeing the truth. This person is doing all type of spell work. This person is also doing spell work against the person who is the rightful owner of this money. This person is doing spell work all day, every day to get this situation to go in their favor, guys, okay? So this is what is going on here. This is a, your quick mini reading for today. I do thank you all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through cash app which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through paypal which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond as always guys take care of yourselves take care of each other but most of all take care of your baby sonny remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there is wickedness in high places and there is evil just working around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch surroundings in the company and what your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am, created in the image of God.